Nick. I'm Michael King at the King 5 Studios, and votes are pouring into our command center here at Best of Western Washington Central Headquarters Satellite Control. We have some of the, uh, the leaders so far for your choice for best round food. We all know round food is delicious. From Star-Lord to Star Wars, the Seattle mom creating custom-made costumes, and how you can too. Evening sits down with Michael Fassbender and the stars of the new movie, The Snowman. Out and in. Plus, celebrate the Hindu festival of lights with a Bollywood dance party. And we are brewing up something special. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. We are at the brand new Sugar Factory in Bellevue. And their cocktails mean business. I've never Absolutely. seen anything like this before. <laughs> and this is part of the reason why this place is huge with celebrities. You guys remember we were here a couple weeks ago because Mariah Carey was in town. That's right. She was actually part of the grand opening celebration here. She even has her own Christmas themed candy line. Rapper Pitbull has also teamed up with Sugar Factory and this is his drink. It's called the Watermelon Patch Goblet. It is a mix of vodka, rum and fresh watermelon and topped off with some gummy sour watermelon slices. It looks very pretty. Thank I like you. it a lot. I am having the Drake Goblet. It's a peach based cocktail with whiskey, sweet tea, strawberry lemonade and cotton candy. Named not for Sir Francis Drake, I'm assuming, right? Drake, no. the pop star from Canada? That would right? be, yeah, the correct Drake. You know, it is never too soon to start thinking about your weekend plans. I think I will spend the weekend in a uh, diabetic coma myself. <laughs> Kim? <laughs> I don't know about that. You're, it's supposed to be two people drinking one of these drinks, by the way, mm. so we'll see how we're doing by the end of the show. But there is a lot of stuff going on over the next few days. So here's Michael with What's Up This Week. Your glass is half full and most of life is half empty. Let's just be face. <laughs> let's see. He's known for his TV shows and movies, but Tim Allen's first love is still stand-up comedy. Allen will be making people laugh Saturday night at the Emerald Queen Casino. It has three distinct stories woven together by a desire for a brighter tomorrow. The musical Ragtime is singing their Tony Award-winning score right now at the Fifth Avenue Theater through November 5th. You probably first heard this tune watching a Bugs Bunny cartoon, but you can hear and see the Seattle Opera's production of The Barber of Seville as a grown-up, now through October 28th at McCall Hall. They began as a new wave band in 1980, but Depeche Mode is still pumping out new music 37 years later. It should be a nostalgic night when the band plays Key Arena Saturday. And that's What's Up This Week. Thank you, Michael. Another thing that is happening, in fact, is happening tonight is Diwali. Yeah. It is the Hindu celebration of light. It is the triumph of light over darkness, and it is celebrated with presents, with feasts, and with dance parties. Yeah, and if you have never been to a dance party featuring traditional dances from India, you are actually in luck because there is one that happens almost every weekend here in the Pacific Northwest. Tonight is not the time to talk about tomorrow afternoon. Tonight is the time to dance. It's Saturday night on Capitol Hill with a view to the east. And to the goal, you must shake your shoulders. This is a Jai Ho Bollywood dance party. Jai Ho means uh, be victorious or victory to you in Hindi. Prashant is the DJ and dance instructor. Out and in. Shake your shoulders and out and in. Spinning songs from the soundtrack of a cultural phenomenon. Bollywood is the name of India's film industry and its prolific musicals. Christy Lowe discovered Bollywood parties through Friends at Work. A change from the nightclub scene she knew. That's like where people grind like sausages. And this is more of a, a cultural celebration. Scores of other Seattleites are also hooked. Prashant's monthly parties are packed. He's a natural entertainer. Up and up. On this night, Prashant teaches the crowd Pongra dancing, based in Punjabi folk music. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let To dance authentically, you have to be able to just let go. And that's why Bollywood connects people, no matter who they are. 
a new kind of club culture. Four, five, six. Good job, Theatre. How are you doing? Where East meets West. I'm hoping that people can have moments where they don't know what they did and they just live in the moment. And good job. Are you feeling inspired now that you've had that sip to go learn some Bollywood dance moves? I may be. I'm definitely feeling jumpy at this point. <laughs> you are in luck. The next Bollywood dance party in Seattle is happening not this Saturday, but next Saturday, the 28th. Okay. Columbia City Theater, and it is sort of Halloween related. It's the thriller Bollywood dance Ooh. party, so dress appropriately. Fun. Please don't do that. Okay. Uh, Kim, you usually make your own Halloween costumes, I try am to. I right? Yeah, I try well, to. Well, there is also a Seattle mom that we're about to meet who does the same thing. That's right. In fact, she designed an outfit for her son that was so cute, Chris Pratt retweeted the picture. Making your own costumes can be intimidating, but Abby shows us why this mom thinks all of us should give it a try. I have always enjoyed playing dress up. I started doing the historical, the medieval costumes, and they weren't very good, but I was proud of them because I made them myself, and you gotta start somewhere. Bethany Roulette doesn't have any formal fashion training. But cutting is so scary because once you cut it, you can't uncut it. But one handmade costume. Padme's packing dress from episode two, and it's a blue velvet coat with beading down the front and this big full skirt. Catapulted her into the world of cosplay. I think at my first convention, they needed more people to enter the costume contest. So somebody just came over and grabbed me out and they were like, here, you're gonna be in this now. And I did it and I loved it. While Star Wars is still her biggest inspiration, she's not afraid to try anything. Movies, books, comics. If there's a character I love, and if I want to try it, I'll just do it. Because of the way these costumes make her feel. They just make you carry yourself differently. If you're wearing an elaborate headpiece or corset or a bodice that makes you feel like you're wearing a corset, you're just going to sit up a little straighter. And if the character is regal, you'll just carry yourself that way and you will be regal too. It really makes you feel special. But even if cosplay isn't your thing, Bethany says Halloween gives everyone a chance to try on a different persona, like her son. I've been dressing him since he was barely walking. It's a blessing and a curse that he's decided there's nothing that can't be made. Like we can just make a set of Iron Man armor in like a week and that won't be a problem. <laughs> This is a Star Lord costume that I made for my son. But she says, you don't have to make costumes this elaborate to make your child feel like a hero. Just take it down to simple pieces. Does your daughter want to be Wonder Woman? Find a blue skirt, paint white stars on it, and wear a red shirt. And she's going to feel like Wonder Woman. And she'll run around blocking bullets with her bracelets. And it'll be great, because Imagination goes a long way. If your child would rather save Ninjago City, find a matching pants and shirt in any color, because they have every color of ninja, and you can get a little bit of fabric or something to tie around your waist as a belt. While making that first cut can be scary for even the most skilled seamstress, Bethany hopes you'll find that same confidence to make your dream character come to life. Just go out and really tell yourself, that you can do it. And you'll be like, look at this thing I did, this is amazing. And it'll be great. And people will recognize that sense of accomplishment. If you wanna to try to make your own costume, we got a pro tip from Bethany. Yeah. She says, go to a thrift shop and just buy the sheets that you can find there. Yeah, bed sheets, because then you have like a lot of yards that you can work with so that if you mess up, start again. I would definitely be messing up. I would too. <laughs> See Michael Fassbender before he was a Hollywood star. Go out there and uh, find it if you can. Plus, your chance to win tickets to see his new movie, The Snowman. Coming up tonight, Western Washington firefighters are returning from California. Tonight, we're going to hear their stories of battling those wildfires down south. Also, there's a Seattle City Council member who says those sweeps of homeless camps shouldn't happen. And there was a big demonstration tonight supporting her point of view. We'll talk about that. And animal hospice, a way for pet owners to find comfort as they say goodbye to their pets, making sure they're not in pain. Join us tonight. Tonight at 11, King 5 News. Live with innovation. 
with making memories with peace of mind. Live with a car that feels like it's designed just for you, because it is. At Toyota, we believe that making great cars makes people's lives better and safer, like the aggressively sophisticated all-wheel drive 2017 Toyota Highlander. With Toyota Safety Sense Standard, now lease a new Highlander XLE all-wheel drive for just $299 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Well-qualified current lessees of competitive vehicles get a low-mileage lease on the all-new 2017 Jeep Compass for $169 a month. Welcome back to Evening, everyone. We are coming to you from the brand-new Sugar Factory in Bellevue tonight. I don't know much about the Sugar Factory story, but I believe these play a big role. Yeah, right? no, these are their couture pops, and they kind of became known because celebrities were posing with them. They're refillable, you see. You get oh, to keep the nice. couture. We tried to pose like celebrities with couture pops, and yeah. I think it's evident why we are not Don't Don't show celebrities. that. Celebrities. Don't, they, they don't, don't show that. They don't just have sugar here. They have an abundant menu. You know, everything here is is big and decadent. Over the top. Yeah, like this mac and cheese burger. Wow. It's grass-fed Angus beef topped with a creamy mac and I'll cheese. Say. And bacon, because of course you need bacon with that too. I have the sampler plate. I've got buttermilk onion rings, crispy chicken fingers, buffalo wings. I got mac and cheese pops. Yum. Well, you know, this place, as we've mentioned, is known for being a favorite among celebrities. And right. there is now a new Hollywood celebrity married couple to announce. No way. Yes, Academy Award winner Alicia Vikander tied the knot with Academy Award nominee Michael Fassbender last weekend. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Yeah. yeah, and Michael Fassbender yes. has a new movie that is coming out this weekend. It's called The Snowmen. And a little bit later, we're going to be giving away some tickets. Yes, but first, we are going to show you our interview with Michael and his co-star Rebecca Ferguson about the crime thriller. It's tonight's evening at the movies. He calls himself the snowman killer. If there's an opposite of frozen, this insane. may be it. The snowman turns a benign children's creation I mean, into a deeply sinister symbol, a new addition to the list of creepy film figures. And yeah. then we have clowns, dolls, little scary girls in corridors. Dolls, yeah, dolls. Rebecca Ferguson and Michael Fassbender star as members of an elite crime squad tracking a winter-based serial killer who uses snowmen for murderous inspiration. I know how much you want this, but you can't force the pieces to fit. Do you actually think he killed them? I don't know. The film is based on a book from the best-selling Norwegian series about Detective Harry Hole. It's only the second time Fassbender has played an investigator. I actually played a detective before on something called NCS Manhunt. Oh. Uh, go out there and uh, find it if you can. Did you just look and point <laughs> into the camera? I did, yeah. Wow. It's on television. Um, <laughs> it was on television. We found it. The short-lived TV show from 2002 was based in England. The snowman took cast and crew to locations in Norway. From urban bars and buildings to remote spots in the countryside where the isolation and inclement weather were authentic but bearable. As long as you get your feet sorted feet and keep your feet dry, the rest is fine because uh, it's a very, it's a sort of dry cold and it's quite fresh and invigorating actually. The stars and filmmakers knew they had a lot to live up to. Harry Hole is so beloved, people actually pay to go on walking tours of the book's locations in Oslo. I'll be doing that. Um, I did not soon know they had that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing the tour soon. Yeah, you will. Sure. <laughs> you just be sitting in the cafe yeah, when that's they pause. my new career now. <laughs> Meantime, you can see Fassbender, Ferguson, and many more recognizable faces when the snowman opens in theaters tomorrow. Be careful. 
we don't know what we're dealing with. Oh, very, very creepy. The Snowman is rated R, and it opens tomorrow. You read the book, didn't you? I did. I like the book a lot. Okay, well, this movie you can see in really one of the coolest movie theaters around. That's right. We're giving away tickets. Two of them, in fact, for the Cinemark Reserve 21 and over here in Bellevue. This place has huge wall-to-wall -wall screens with an amazing sound system. Mm. And the seats are big, luxurious lounge chairs that electrically recline. My favorite. There's also a great menu of food to pick from, and you can wash it all down with a nice adult beverage or two. To win, you want to go to our King 5 Evening Facebook page and leave a comment on our post about the snowman. We are going to have one lucky winner who will get two passes. Yes. So you want to do that right now. You're on your phone anyway. Go ahead and Go do ahead it. Go ahead and do it. Ahead on evening, travel guru Rick Steves gets a special honor for giving back. Evening at the Movies is sponsored by Cinemark Reserve Dine-In, 21 and over. Capture picture-perfect moments with your dog. Oh, good boy, Herbie. Okay. Secrets of a professional pup photographer. And team evening goes costume shopping. Somebody asked for a sexy cop. Evening, tomorrow at 7.30 on King 5. If you're anything like me, your to-do list just keeps growing. <laughs> it never stops. Which is why the online financing application at CarMax.com is so convenient. Get some of that finance stuff out of the way from wherever you are. At the doctor's office, karate practice, or my favorite, back at the doctor's office. Knowing before you go means more quality time sewing a costume for the school play that is not going to look anything like a frog. Just a little heads up, Mrs. Davis. Ah, uh, yay, kids! Hey, honey. Hi. Why is there a world-renowned Virginia Mason medical team in the backyard? Relax, it's only a metaphor. Virginia Mason is one of the best medical centers in the country, and it's right in our own backyard. That's a fantastic metaphor. Right? So are the burgers real? No, they're metaphorical burgers. Open enrollment is here, and Remarkable Care is right in your backyard. Choose a plan that includes Virginia Mason Medical Centers. Virginia Mason, be remarkable. Head to your local Hyundai dealer for some incredible savings. And right now, lease a Sonata for just $189 a month. It's packed with features like blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert and a class exclusive hands-free smart trunk. You won't find that on an Accord or Camry. Do you like it? Is that even a question? All backed by America's best warranty. This just feels better. Better is the reason about Hyundai. And this is a reason to buy now. Lease a 2018 Sonata for just $189 a month. Hurry to your Western Washington Hyundai dealer today. Turning Halloween, I think I'm turning Halloween, I really think so. Turning Halloween, I think I'm turning Halloween, I really think so. Thousands of new and thrifty costumes plus costume consultants to help at Value Village. Hey, Gary. Hey, Phil. Nice ride. Oh, thanks. What an egomaniac. Hands free. It's got this Uconnect theater with Blu-ray player, built-in games and apps. Impressive. Nauseating. No wonder it won that J.D. Power Quality Award, right? No wonder. Why don't you go bowling with J.D. Power? Are you doing that inner monologue thing again? No. Yes. I'm growing a higher hedge. Now get 0% APR financing for 60 months on the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. Welcome back to the show, everyone. We are coming to you from Bellevue tonight, but Linwood was actually the place to be today if you wanted a chance to meet travel guru Rick Steves. That's right. He was honored with a tree planting ceremony this afternoon. It was a special kind of thank you for a very generous gift, an apartment complex worth more than a million dollars. Everybody says if you consume more, you're happier. Uh, but uh, that's not the mark of a very thoughtful person. But history's seen. For more than 25 years, Rick Steves has hosted the most popular travel series on PBS. All over Italy, escape the heat and the crowds by sightseeing late in the day. He's also earned a fortune with his best selling European travel guides. But money, as they say, isn't everything, which is why we're meeting here. When you walk, down this sidewalk, what do you, uh, what do you see? <laughs> I see, I see mothers that have hope. This is Trinity Place, a housing complex Rick has owned since 2005. Its residents are 24 struggling women and their kids who need the kind of services the YWCA provides. I'm afraid some of these residents would be homeless. Edmonds Rotary Noon Club keeps the property up. They've reunited mothers and children. That's a big, big, big deal. 
Yeah, it's, it's been a godsend, honestly. A year ago, Tamara was homeless, recovering from addiction, her kids in foster care. It means uh, being able to have my kids with me and be able to, to raise them and be a mom again and, um, and get my life back on track. He'd always planned to will Trinity Place to the YWCA, but the other day, Rick changed his mind. He's donating his nest egg, the complex, right now while he's alive. I don't think it's particularly, uh, you know, loving or saintly to house people. I just think it's enlightened. I want to get a return on my money. Sometimes wealth can't be measured in dollars and cents. <laughs> Am I doing okay? I'm just, I'm just doing my very best. <laughs> Rick's investment is in people, community, and he says it couldn't be more rewarding to think about when I found this place, it was just a moldy haunted house. That's what it was. It was a moldy haunted house. And I just thought, man, there's God in that mold. That is really amazing. Yeah, and Rick told me that he hopes to inspire other people who are well off yeah. to help their communities. The Northwest pumpkin patch that's truly a family affair when evening returns. I'm Steve Bunin. Wake up with us tomorrow on King 5 Mornings. A big storm is coming our way. We'll tell you exactly where and when it's going to hit. Plus, it's Blue Friday and a pep football Friday. We're at one local high school getting ready for a big game Friday night. Join us on King 5 Mornings. Arts, crafts, unique gifts, tasty gourmet foods, live entertainment, and bring the kids for a picture with Santa. A whole day of fun. The Tacoma Holiday Food and Gift Festival in the Tacoma Dome. Four days only, Thursday through Sunday. For discount tickets, see HolidayGiftShows.com. It's a Nissan's Truck Month today. And save big on Nissan's family of trucks. Like the award-winning Frontier, the Titan XD, and Titan. Backed by America's best bumper-to-bumper -bumper truck warranty. Hurry into your local Nissan dealer today. Truck Month and these great offers end soon. Take on today. Get 0% financing for up to 60 months on 12 models. Or save up to 10 to 60 on select models. Spin and shop for the holidays this year at Tulalip Resort Casino. Earn bonus shopping stars for all your slots play to spend at the Holiday Boulevard. Find all the details at TulalipCasino.com. Wouldn't it be great if life's waters were always calm? If the answers we needed stared back at us whenever we looked. At Providence, our values are at the heart of everything we do. Learn why Providence Medicare Advantage plans are right for you. Your road to recovery can include access to thousands of in-network providers and a no-cost gym membership. Life doesn't come with a blueprint. But how we respond to and prepare for life does. Call today to speak with a Providence representative about our Medicare Advantage plans or visit us online to enroll now. Big savings, big selection, at Poulsbo RV's Big Finish event. From the New York Times bestseller, an inspirational true story of hope when we need it most. Starring Greg Kinnear, Renee Zellweger, Jaiman Hunsu, and John Voigt. Same kind of different as me. Rated PG-13 in theaters Friday. Mornings, it's our thing. King 5 Mornings and Today. It's a holiday wonderland, the Tacoma Holiday Food and Gift Festival in the Tacoma Dome, four big days, Thursday through Sunday. Shop thousands of unique gifts by artists and crafters you won't find anywhere else. Gourmet foods, live entertainment, and Santa too. Opens 10 a.m. See HolidayGiftShows.com. Hi there, I'm Michael and welcome to the Best of Western Washington Command Center uh, Module Satellite Control. Votes are pouring in here for our 25th annual viewers poll. We're going to update some of the hottest categories right now. In fact, we have a theme tonight. It's best round food because everyone knows round food is delicious. Your leader so far in the clubhouse for best donuts is the original house of donuts. Let's see some of the other round categories like for instance best pie. Snohomish Pie Company is leading the Tattered Apron and a la mode pies is just a slice 
behind in third place. Best Burgers also round. Dick Striven is your leader. Stax Burgers and Burgermaster not far behind. Let's check another round. Oh, Pizza's round. Ferrelli's is leading. Annie's is in second place. And your bronze medal is so far, remember you can change these votes, is the Rock Wood Fire Kitchen. And also, you get a note to vote now at king5.com slash best because voting is happening up until the 29th of October. So you have a little longer to vote. And every time you vote, you get a chance to win a $10,000 gift card at Honda or Toyota of Seattle. Vote now, king5.com slash best. Thank you, Michael. And on the subject of food, wow, dessert is served. And this is... Um, Pretty noticeable. amazing, it yeah. It's pretty amazing. I mean, the tie-dye milkshake here, but this is what it's all about, the signature dessert yes. right here, the King Kong Sunday. It's about $100, but look at this. I know, I feel like this could feed King Kong. It is completely insane and very fanciful. As you can see, it comes with sparklers. There are 24 scoops of ice cream. Yeah. And these, I'm told that the bananas well, are especially it good. Yeah, it, it lasts long enough to sing happy birthday. They are meant to be shared. Do you, you think? Yeah, right, I'm gonna maybe go by 24 start people. On it. Well, of course, pumpkin patch season is here. I went with my family over the weekend. It was lots of fun. Yeah, there's a farm in Mount Vernon that you should check out because it's not just a pumpkin patch, thanks to one very creative man. Here's Jim. Eddie Gordon is a man of many talents. I would say artist farmer or farmer artist. Which is why a visit to Gordon Skagit Farms is a journey into the imagination. Yeah, I get a lot of people coming in saying, who does the artwork, who sets up the displays, and I mean, I have a vision for the farm. The Gordon family has been here for three generations. There's my brother Todd, he's hiding. As a farmer, Eddie grows a diverse crop of quirky gourds from seeds obtained all around the world. People really get into these really cool different shapes and colors. As a trained artist, he sets this bounty to a backdrop of his own creation. We live in a very beautiful place. The farm even features a haunted but not too scary barn, bringing this spooktacular season to life. It's just like a great, visual, exciting experience for everybody. Eddie Gordon and the art of farming. Just make it magical. Thanks, Jim. Gordon Farms is open every day during the month of October from 9 to 6. I love that place, and I love this place, too. We're I'm getting used to it. be here at the Sugar Factory for the next six months, finishing this Sunday. But thanks to them for hosting us tonight. Very yeah, fun. It has been great. And on tomorrow night's show, we are going to show you the fastest growing sport involving athletes with four legs. It's called Doc Dogs. Stay where you are, because Superstore is coming up next. Thanks for joining us, and good night from Bellevue. Good night. I <laughs> All right, this half.